Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another installment of Star Citizen. And today we're going to be doing a VHRT. We're going to be doing, uh, or displaying some very experienced flight skills and mechanics. And I'm going to go over them during the video. Uh, we're going to discuss coupled mode. ESP, Decoupled, and VTOL, so stay tuned. Okay, so you see I'm approaching, and I have coupled mode on, and I have ESP off, which is enhanced stick precision. So ESP, when it's on, it's kind of like an aim assist, and then right now I'm in manual fire mode, which is better for long distance shooting, so that your pip doesn't go all over the place. Stagger mode is on currently, and so here, he's going to fire a missile. Watch my coupled. As I turn, I go decoupled momentarily, and then I go decoupled boost back into coupled, and I use the asteroid to essentially avoid getting, having to use flares, and then also luring them into a favorable fight for myself. Alright, so here we go, I'm going to do the same technique again. There we go, decoupled, back into coupled, decoupled, back into coupled. So I'm using it to kind of drift and build the momentum. So he's locking on again. So I immediately do this motion here. And once again, don't need to flare. You can see that it's uh, a heat seeking missile because of the flame indicator. And the asteroid takes care of that for me as well. So you notice here I'm missing a couple of shots because I have ESP mode off. So from closer distances, you're going to want that on. So here, we're not using the asteroids anymore. As you can see from long distance, I'm shooting him. I have ESP off. And then here I used VTOL because I'm up strafing, and then I turned ESP on as well because at this point I've committed and it's going to be mostly up close and personal. So I'm going to take that aim assist. But you can see how it's bouncing around everywhere because of the desync, and that's usually why you would turn it on or off. So here I'm decoupled, VTOL off. You can see me just kind of gliding in the air, avoiding the shots. You can see the ESP doing its thing. My shields are down, or almost down, so I go decoupled. I'm going to swing around this asteroid, go coupled, decoupled again. And I use the boost to basically regain that momentum. So I come on this side because you can see he's shooting at me, so I use that as cover. Get a couple of shots on the Valkyrie here. So here we have the Hurricane coming on my left. But he's not going to reach me in time before I get to the Valkyrie. So I'm going to pop a couple shots on the Valkyrie and swing around. Shields are almost down on the Valkyrie, but I'm out of ammo. So the Hurricane finally broke the distance. 
And you can really see what ESP is doing here when it's on. Like, it's look at all that tracking from up close. It really helps when you're trying to put your pip on target. Like, look at that. Even though, see how it tracks, it bounces right on them. So you want that pip on ESP when you're in close range, just like this. So for the most part here, I'm doing a lot of decoupled flying because you're able to just swing around. Um, so the difference between coupled and decoupled is when you're decoupled, you have control of all your thrusters individually and your ship will not slow down because coupled mode will essentially slow your ship down to a neutral position. So that's why whenever you're in atmosphere or whenever you're in space, if you go coupled, it'll always slow your ship down as close to zero as possible because it'll always try to keep your ship in a neutral position. All right. And what VTOL controls is going to be your vertical strafe, so up, down, strafe. All right. Here, I, that was, I almost hit that. That was not intentional. I mean, no, I totally meant to do that. Yeah. All right, so finally we're on the Valkyrie. I'm going to do a couple of uh, techniques, very short uh, thrusts. And if you see how I'm rotating, that actually really changes a lot of things on how the ship moves. So you see I changed rotation here. And although I was really close, I was able to get right back on target. I'm going to do the same thing again in reverse. There, I come again. So you always want to keep that underside of a ship um, as frequently as possible to avoid any turret gunners. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video.